careful. Those same apps could be exposing your personal information. Contact 13 Stephanie Zeppelin looks at what you need to do to protect yourself. Facebook, Pandora, I do because I listen to it at work. Tanya Ortiz has typical apps you can find on anyone's smartphone. Our personal devices also store a massive amount of information about us. Calendars with birthdays and family schedules, address books with phone numbers and emails, plus photos of friends and family. But did you know you may be allowing perfect strangers to look at it all? That's because when you download an app, you're typically giving developers access to data on your phone. It wants access to your camera. It wants access to your contacts. It wants access to your music. IT expert Kurt Miller of Anexion says it's important to ask questions. Is this the kind of app? that needs access to that. App developers use your personal information for marketing purposes, but it's not hard to keep your data private. Simply look at an app's settings and review what it wants access to. But Kurt says before you even install an app, do some research. I look at the reviews, but more important, I'm, I almost always will click on the web. Usually it'll say developer website. Make sure you know exactly who you're doing business with. Tanya says it's advice she definitely follows. The bottom line is read the fine print and make sure you understand what you're allowing them to do. That was Stephanie Zeppelin reporting. Still